that was tough because we woke up early for this. So the climb up to the top of the bell tower is 414 Four, steps. Five. And look who decided to join me. I'm awake. He's awake. So a couple of the necklaces that I found uh, I liked were $1,500. Good morning from our second full day in Florence. KJ is sleeping in a little bit while my family and I are heading to the Duomo. It is 7.45, so we're trying to get there for the 8.15 opening. We're trying to go inside because it's free entry and hopefully it's beautiful. It is drastically different walking here in the mornings than even like in an hour or two or in the middle of the day. There's barely any crowds behind me and it's so crowded in the middle of the day. Although it is way less crowded than it was this summer. Like this summer it was shoulder to shoulder and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, we don't really know where to line up so we're just kind of standing here awkwardly because we don't want to be the annoying people to just go stand in front of it. So yeah. The fun reason why there was no line and we couldn't figure it out is because it opens at 10.15, not 8.15. The bell tower opens at 8.15 and a couple other features here, not the free entry of the cathedral. So we are coming up with a game plan now. That was tough because we woke up early for this. What did you convince me to do? To walk to the top of the Duomo. No, this thing. Oh. You want to go to the top of the Duomo or the bell tower? The Duomo. No. Oh my god. Nicole's still getting used to the vlog. But she just said, top of the bell tower, baby. <laughs> Let's go. So the climb up to the top of the bell tower is 414 Four, steps. Five, six, seven. <laughs> She's gonna do this the whole time. <laughs> this is really <laughs> <sweet. laughs> <laughs> So this was built, I'm out of breath. This was built between 1334 and 1359. It's about 85 meters tall and 15 meters wide. And oh my goodness, it takes a lot to get up here. But we're at our first viewpoint and it's beautiful so far. Definitely worth it. Our tickets were 20 euro each. We got like the Giolti pass. We got the Giotto pass, which is 20 euro. We get access to the bell tower, the crypt, the museum, and something else. I did that all last time with KJ, so don't really need it, but it's the same pass, just in case anyone wants to go to the museum later. Oh my gosh, this, this is like round. So in the summer, it gets really hot, and it's not really recommended to do this. But it's pretty cool this morning, like 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're chilling. Don't get me wrong, I'm sweating, but we're chilling. Come on. Made it to our second landing point. I don't like when they're super tiny, like windy. Yeah. Not my favorite. This is not recommended for people with claustrophobia, heart disease, or vertigo. Uh, sometimes I feel like I can make myself be claustrophobic. those 414 steps weren't that bad very sweaty very hot definitely worth it so that's all you need to know it was 20 euro for this view good thing we didn't do the dome because that was sold out today but you can see people on the dome outside looking at the city so that's pretty cool but you definitely can't see the dome so I feel like this is the better bet starting to get crowded, it's like 9 a.m. So that's our cue. 414 steps down. Those landing points are really nice to take a rest, especially going up. But even down, it's nice because it's kind of claustrophobic. Like I said. All right, last set of staircases. And this is a wide one. I would get gelato right now. Oh, nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yes! <laughs> High five. Hey. Oh. Hi. Girl. Yes. We just climbed 414 steps up that. Here, touch it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So that was awesome. It took us like 30 to 45 minutes, probably like 35 minutes to get up, hang out up there and then go down the steps. And yeah, it was super cool. Definitely don't do it when it's hot and if you're claustrophobic. I know I talked about that a lot, probably because I was trying to convince myself I'm not claustrophobic. <laughs> Anyways, it's breakfast time and let's see what Kato is up to. Good morning, handsome. Mm. Hi. Hi. Are you still sleeping? Kind of. And look who decided to join me. I'm awake. He's awake. And Jet lag got the best of me, <laughs> so but we're back. So fair. <laughs> we are currently hiking up to Piazza Michelangelo to get a good view of the city. Usually it's a good sunset spot, but we're gonna be eating at that point tonight, I hope. So we're going now and it's kind of cloudy, so hopefully it's gonna be like the same view as it's what be it will be. Yeah. yeah, here we go. I'm really sweaty and tired, but we made it! Yay! <laughs> So we are at Circo and Sons, which has become highly recommended. It was apparently the first gluten-free and lactose-free restaurant in Florence, so I'm very excited to give it a try. Got the ravioli. Very excited. It looks awesome. That's really good. This, this like sauce, it's kind of sweet. Definitely balsamic, but like sweeter. That's good. I got fettuccine Pinocchio. Yeah. So we were all a little hangry before we got to the place. The walk was like a mile and a half, so yeah. It, it was a bit much. We finally sat down and had a delicious meal. Mine was like, okay. I wish it had more flavor, but overall, a good time. We're in better spirits now, and we're gonna go get gelato. Tiramisu, 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 tiramisu. I got the tiramisu. It's my favorite flavor ever. It literally has chunks of like tiramisu in it. Mm. Me too, again. Well, we just took a couple hours to chill back at our place. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing right now. Sarah and I just did some work on the next vlog and editing and all that fun stuff. So now we are gonna go head out. We're gonna meet up with her dad at a bar slash pub that he found down the street and then just hang out and see what the rest of the night's gonna entail. Cheers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're in it. <laughs> You're in it. Mm. Nice and wide. So wide you can take angle? a sip after. Yeah. Hmm? Redo. Redo. It's bad luck. You got a sip. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So, if you were here for our video in New York, I got this permanent bracelet and now I'm on a jewelry kick, as we, we, we could say. I never wore jewelry because I was an athlete for a long time, always had to take it off. Now I am trying out jewelry. So here we are on the Golden Bridge of Ponte Vecchio and I'm gonna buy something. We're calling this Sarah's Jewelry Era. So she's in it right now. Sorry. There you go, look at that bracelet. So a couple of the necklaces that I found uh, I liked were $1,500. Not quite the budget today. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe like 100 or 200 max for like a, a nice thing, but not that nice. I'm not that fancy, you know? So we're gonna keep hunting. We've done one side, we're gonna do the next side and see what happens. We got my mom here and my sister here and we're on the prowl. We're gonna get something. Let's go. I think I'm liking this one. No clue how much it costs, but it's thin. I did it. I was the last customer. I had 15 minutes to decide if I, not even, I had a minute to decide, but basically this all closes at seven and it's like 6.50, so 
They're all getting ready to close down for the night and I saw one and I liked it and I bought it. Well, now that Sarah got her jewelry fixed, time for us to eat some dinner. I got the same dish, the pasta that's homemade spaghetti, gluten-free, so good. I could eat that every single day. And now we're just gonna go back to our Airbnb and get ready for a big day tomorrow. We had so much fun today and we are gonna have so much fun tomorrow. We're going on a day trip to Chicoy Terre, so follow along for more. Good night. It's crazy walking here in the mornings. It's so much fun. Um, what else did you say? What do you think? No, you said something else about this. Just so I can say it. <laughs> You can get your flavor. Whoa. <laughs> like a, Girl. It was because it wasn't even. Like yeah, sure. Even. Sure. Oh, One after all spritz so, in. Yeah. Did you try it? Well, we just took a couple hours to just everybody. Blah, blah, blah.